Despite some glitches, two COVID vaccines are now rolling out to high-risk groups across the country. That's led to many questions as people start thinking about getting vaccinated. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has answers to two of your most common questions. Our first question comes from Mary, who asks, what's in the vaccine? Well, Mary wants to know because she's very allergic to penicillin. And while there have been a tiny number of allergic reactions to the Pfizer vaccine, there is nothing resembling penicillin in either vaccine. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines use a similar brand new technology to induce immunity. So people rightly want to know what's in them. Surprisingly, little. There are tiny snippets of what's called messenger or mRNA. That's the genetic blueprint the virus uses to make the spike protein that helps corona infect cells and will stimulate your immunity. But there is no coronavirus in the vaccine. The other component is tiny oily nanoparticles that surround and protect the mRNA, which otherwise would break down very quickly in the body. That's it. No preservatives or anything else until they're mixed with sterile saline right before being injected. Now, our second question comes from Jay, who asks, which vaccine should I choose and is one better or more effective? Well, the answer, at least for a few months, is it's very unlikely that you'll have a choice. Both vaccines use similar technology. Both have almost identical effectiveness in clinical trials, and both are going to be in short supply for a while, at least until production ramps up or other vaccine candidates get authorized next year. Bottom line, whichever vaccine becomes available to you, take it and wear a mask until then, and even after your vaccine to keep others safe. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And for a list of Dr. Max's answers to frequently asked vaccine questions, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.